I guess the question at this point is, um, Orco R has obviously evolved <laughs> since you started it in when the mid 90s. I suppose it must have taken some time, a year or two, to put it together, mm. go public, receive all the acclaim and the vitriol <laughs> the that you vitriol. did. <laughs> vitriol first. Uh, yes. Vitriol sure. that it did. And, but yet you kept going, you stuck to it, you stuck to your guns, <laughs> and you've done reviews, and you've answered your critics. And, somehow it seems as if it's gaining ground now and you must feel quite confident about that. What's been the evolution, if you can explain it in terms most of us can understand, in the theory since you first started? Well, I think the experiments that Anirban Bandiapadhyay has been doing uh, after, over the last several years certainly add a boost, a big boost to what we've been doing because they tell, tell us that their microtubules do behave in ways that cannot be explained classically. I mean, the, the, the way they conduct electrical signals uh, seems to be uh, very unusual and uh, the kind of thing which clearly involves quantum mechanical principles. So uh, I think that's a huge step because it does tell us that, uh, well, we had a lot of faith in microtubules already, but it's indicating that, that there is something fundamentally quantum mechanical, which you simply can't explain by classical ideas going on in microtubules. Exactly how this is harnessed and how it leads to consciousness or behavior of neurons in a, in a coherent way, which somehow uh, can't be explained otherwise, that's, that needs to be developed. And so there's a lot more to learn. I don't know, you probably should add well, a lot more to this. Yeah, so if you think about a neuron, it's uh, an integrate and fire device. So it's got dendrites and the cell body which receive inputs, synaptic inputs. And it takes all these inputs which come in uh, at slightly different times, different places, and integrate all these inputs. And at a certain portion of the neuron, uh, if it reaches a threshold or doesn't reach a threshold to fire the action potential. And everybody talks about exonal, uh, neuronal firings, that consciousness is due to ex exonal firings or neuronal firings. And that's only part of what the neuron does. And uh, I think actually the consciousness is happening in the integration phase before you even get to firing. And the result of um, consciousness, uh, conscious processes or a form of computation due to objective reduction would then trigger firing or not trigger firing. And then the firing goes to the next synapse and that tells you to move your arm or whatever. But I think that's just conveying the message. I think those who, who dwell strictly on, on the firing are missing the boat. I think consciousness has already happened. And actually EEG, which is the best marker of consciousness, correlative consciousness, at least gamma synchrony EEG, actually measures what's happening in the dendrites and soma, not what's happening in the firings.